Hi viewers, and welcome to another edition of On The Farm, where we are vocal about everything local. I am Shakima Hanley. On this episode, we'll be highlighting the just concluded Love Agri campaign, where we distributed seeds and seedlings to backyard farmers. Also, we'll be featuring an item from the Department of Marine Resources on turtle conservation. Stay for the details. We'll be right back after this. For each and every one of us, Food tells a story. It starts with agriculture, and our actions impact its journey each step of the way. We have one planet and are part of one system. We must work together to build a better future. We need to reconnect with nature and work as one. Let's rewrite the story of food for a better, more sustainable world. Our actions are our future. Welcome back. First off, a recap of the Love Agri campaign right here in Prospect. My name is Rhonda Vipers and I'm a field technician for the Propagation Unit. Um, this week we add a distribution of vegetable seedlings, fruit trees and seeds to backyard farmers. We add seeds such as beets, watermelon, okra and butternut squash. We also add fruit trees, our papayas and passion fruit. Backyard farmers were able to get one of each. And we were also giving out vegetable seedlings such as red cabbages, bunching onions, sweet peppers, and tomatoes to all backyard farmers. We also had something that's added on to the backyard farmers list, which was a farm that the backyard farmers had to fill in order to get the seedlings and for us to know who, is ex who are interested in backyard farming and if they're interested in actually joining the backyard farmers group which the Department of Agriculture has. So farm, the backyard farmers were asked to put down their names, address, and phone numbers and indicate whether they like to be part of the backyard farmer or if they're not interested. We had a wonderful turnout and we had a great feedback from the um, backyard farmers. Now we'll hear from Mr. Lemuel Pemberton from the Department of Marine Resources. My name is Lemuel Pemberton from the Navy's Turtle Group and the Department of Marine Resources, the Deputy Director. Uh, yesterday, we got a report from Tafari Ayinde that a turtle had washed ashore in the Gallipat uh, gin shop area. And so Vance Turge, as the first responder, went and checked it out and we actually got it on site here. It was still alive. Unfortunately, so during the course of the day, it died. Now, today what has happened is that we have had Mikhail Sutton to my right and we have uh, Heather Fenton to my left. They have come over to do conduct an autopsy. So they will speak to you as to the whole procedure and what they were are trying to do. So my name is Heather Fenton. I'm a doctor at the Ross University School of Veterinary Medicine. I'm also part of the Sea Turtle Monitoring Network as a volunteer. So we came over this morning to investigate this uh, animal that had was unfortunately found deceased overnight. So it looks like it was a male, an adult, in really good nutritional body condition. It, it looks most likely to be some sort of a, acute injury or recent injury from a collision, likely with a, a motorized uh, marine vessel. So we'll, we will also collect samples and take them back to the lab. We have a lot of archived tissues to help better understand multiple aspects of sea turtle biology. Um, so we, we can rule out some other underlying issues potentially in our sea turtles in the region. And we also participate in a lot of collaborative scientific research projects throughout 
uh, the Caribbean and internationally. So um, it's a helpful resource for us to be able to respond to these types of events and have a have a collaborative relationship with our partners in the Nevis Turtle Group and the government. So my name is Nikhil Sutton. I'm a senior conservationist with the St. Kitts Turtles Monitoring Network. I would just like to say thank you to those persons who reported this turtle and we will try our best to get as much information as possible and to share it with persons when it becomes available. Thank you. So thank you very much to the persons from Ross University and the Sink Sea Turtle Monitoring Network for helping with this. We can always call on them and we are thankful for that. I would like to appeal to marinas, you know, persons using watercraft, especially motorized ones, uh, to look out for the sea turtles when they are moving between the islands or around the islands because the propellers could cause serious damage to these turtles and result in, the, in their deaths. Um, this is not the first one, probably some, somewhere in the region of half a dozen within the last six years, so at least one per year. So once again, we'd like to appeal to all persons using a powered watercraft to please be careful and probably if they could slow down in the areas in the narrows where we have a lot of um, turtles for raging and mating and also the nest, main nesting areas are also in that area if they could slow down that will help us in the conservation of these creatures which are endangered and critically endangered in some instances thank you we take a short commercial break and be right back after this fresh local fruit and vegetables produced for our nourishment by local eat local and we're back and we have some exciting updates for you as you know, the highly anticipated Open Day will be held on the 24th and the 25th of this month at the ETW Park. There will be a wide variety of things happening, such as domino competition, watermelon eating competition, vendors, craft, agro-processing, livestock, petting zoo, horseback riding, kiddie zone, food court. Also, there will be a raffle, ongoing raffle with the livestock unit where you can have the opportunity of getting a cattle or pig, piglet, etc. And $5 gets you in at the gate. Once you pay, automatically you're entered into a raffle where you'll be featuring items from Flow and Digicel. Make sure that you come on out on the 24th and the 25th of March. See you there. I'll be looking out for you. And there you have it, viewers. Another episode of On The Farm where we're vocal about everything local. And just to recap, we had a feature from the Love Agri campaign. Also, we had Mr. Pemberton from the Department of Marine Resources had an item on turtle conservation and the highly anticipated open day updates. Remember to come on out on the 24th and the 25th. So see you there. Until next time, this was On The Farm. And I am Shakima Hanley.